Hello there, junior archaeologist. Today, I bring you an overview of my 10 plus years wearing the famous, iconic, Alden 405 boots, also known as the Indie Boot. There it is. 10 plus years. Alright, so if you were to look at the Alden website, which by the way, doesn't look like it's been updated since I bought these boots over 10 years ago, you will find that um, there isn't a lot of info on that website about the specs. But some things I can tell you is that the 405 comes in this mid, mid brown calf skin, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what they call it, but it's kind of mid brown. It has a Goodyear wilted sole, and this one originally came with um, Neo Cork outsoles and the True Balance um, heels. I think that's, you know, the way you say it. Let's see, these ones obviously do not have those anymore. It's been a long time since I bought these. Oh, what else is there? It's also built on what they call their True Balance Last, which according to information I found online at some place called the Style Forum means that the toe box is wider than the heel area. All right, one thing that attracted me to these boots is the fact that they were definitely Indiana Jones's boots. That's one of the first things I looked up on the internet <laughs> when I first had access to the internet was um, what boots the Indiana Jones wears. And it's interesting to note that not only was I attracted to these, but so was Harrison Ford. He didn't just like choose these, you know, a costume designer didn't choose these for the movie. These were the boots that he would wear as a carpenter during the 70s and so when he got his role as Indiana Jones, these are the boots he wore, or these are the boots he requested, I should say. All right, one thing I should mention is that not only have I used them in my career as an archeologist, I actually use them at every job where I um, had to stand up a lot. So I, when I was standing, had to register at a bookstore for eight plus hours a day, when I was working in a warehouse, walking up and down the aisles. These were my go-to stand up, walk around, work in boots. I realized that, you know, these boots seem kind of fancy for those sorts of jobs, but it's what I used them for. And more importantly, one of the reasons I like doing these reviews is to show you what boots like these look like when you've been using, you know, my impressions of these boots when you use them as real work boots. Alrighty, let's see, any other things to note before I move on with the review? One thing that I will say is that a lot of the a lot of the info online states that you should probably go with a half size larger, or smaller I guess, than your standard size, um, than your standard shoe size. I kind of forget if I did that, but you know, they're comfy for me, so I assume I did. One last thing to mention is that these boots definitely cost a lot more now than they cost when I bought them. <laughs> I always tell people that I could literally buy two pairs of boots, these boots, for the same price that they cost now. I think they cost like what? Almost 600 bucks? 500 bucks? Whatever. Anyway, yeah, so they've definitely gone up in price. Alrighty, so if you're wondering what sort of use I put these boots through, I put these through a 10-day of a pedestrian survey. That's normally what I do here in Nevada, basically where I do an inventory of a certain section of the state for um, whatever they want to build there. So I go and walk around and figure out what's there and what's eligible for inclu inclusion on the National Register of Historic Places. And so as a consequence, I am walking up and down steep slopes, I am walking through big and little sage, I am walking through lots and lots and lots of spiky things. You know, I'm walking in the woods in these. 
And that is what they look like after a week of wear. Literally, I have not done anything to them other than, um, you know, oiling them before I headed out. But I always do that with these boots, which I'll get back to later in my impressions or my, um, you know, what I found about, found out about these boots section. Alrighty, so what I noticed about these boots, you know, is the fact that these stock outsoles are terrible. <laughs> If you're going to use these as hiking boots, I guess that goes without saying they're more dressy than um, worky. So there you go. Also, the stock laces are way short. Like those are usually the, that was actually, I have two pairs of these boots and that is the very first thing I got rid of were the um, really short laces. When you, when you lace them up, they'd be like that. That'd be about, that was left. That's all that was left of the lace after you laced them up. Let's see, in this case, I have put on these less attractive but more durable Kevlar laces, which I usually do on most of my work boots. And one thing I did not mention in the, um, what these boots are made out of is the fact that, um, these are the only boots I have ever worn that I don't need uh, insoles. I don't have any sort of super feet insoles, which is what I normally use in my work boots. I just, um, these boots I just have great arch support. I think they have something all day. Well, I don't know what they call it, like a triple, triple ribbed steel shank, I think is what they call it. And that actually gives really great art support. One other thing I can say is that in all the years I've been wearing these boots, I have never, ever had any um, blisters, which is not something I can say about any other pair of boots I've ever worn. Obviously, that's a very individual thing. Some people won't like these boots at all. So they won't fit them at all, but they work great for me. Other things I noticed, the leather is incredibly prone to scratching. Unlike, you know, unlike the Thoroughgoods I just bought, these boots definitely get scratched up. I literally rotate my boots, you know, I wear like two pairs of boots during a week. And so this is like five days worth of wear. You know, not the worst, but, you know, they could definitely look better after 10 days. Let's see, what else have I noticed? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, one thing I did notice, or should mention, is the fact that on one of the online forums, they mentioned that the tongues like to fall over. I have found that to be very true. As a consequence, I usually end up wearing these with, with short gaiters that kind of come up to about my ankle. That way, all the little rocks and sand and stuff that would normally get in them do not get into them. It also kind of helps to protect them as you are working and hiking along. All right, so some conclusions. As I said before, I definitely use these for all my jobs, or at least jobs where I wasn't sitting all day, which I feel like says a lot about their quality and their comfort, especially considering these boots are really old. Also, what else is there? Hmm. I gotta admit, you know, these boots definitely aged well, which kind of surprised me. You know, normally I'm used to footwear falling apart and whatnot, but you look closely, I have not had any leather repair done to that. That is just the way they have aged over 10 plus years. Let's see. Uh, hmm. I guess the ultimate test is, um, would I buy another pair of these boots? Or would I, will I keep wearing them? Obviously I'll keep wearing them and wearing them for over 10 years and they're some of my favorite boots ever. And the answer is yes, I would definitely buy another pair, although I'd probably choose something a different color, like maybe the 403s. I realize that's a completely different leather, but you know, after 10 plus years, maybe you're due for a change. All right, one last thing I did want to mention about these boots is the fact that some people have wondered how do the cotton linings that they used to use hold up over 10 plus years? Because I've heard some people say they didn't think they were going to last, they were going to last very well. And I can say that I have two pairs of these boots and I have literally walked thousands of miles in these things and um, not a single tear. But I will say that um, they definitely pick up lots of little spiky things. More than once I've had to take off these boots to take off little spiky things out of them. Which is one of the reasons why I definitely use gaiters these days. Just because not only the rocks, but also just spiky things, of which there are many things, many of those sorts of things when you're walking through the meta. Most of which I don't even know the name for. I just know what they look like and that sometimes you just can't avoid walking through them. Anyway, hope that was useful. 
If you like the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like or dislike button, and um, feel free to share if you like. If that was useful, then um, good for you. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.